Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Crucible Chat. Yes, it's Saturday. It's that time of the week where I get to talk about whatever the fuck it is I want. My name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addict. And in the background, you are going to be seeing me being... Yes, I'm being that guy. I'm playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and I am using the automatic shotgun, the Bulldog, in uh, Kill Confirmed. Yes, I'm being that guy, spamming shotgun shells and generally ruining everyone else's day. But it's fun, and it's for me when they swear at you in the lobby at the end of the match. It's great fun. Anyway... So what I want, that's not what I wanted to talk about. No, what I did want to talk about is, obviously you remember last week I did the rather very well received How to Be a Good YouTuber video. And this week I want to talk about how to avoid being a bad YouTuber. Or possibly a slightly snappier title when I can think of it. But yes, I, I, th I had a long hard think last week and after I did that video it's sort of like, I tried to put my best foot forward to say look, you know, this is how I want to be a better YouTuber. And that's good. That's all well and good, but there are so many out there who are still being poorly behaved, shall we say, rude, or ineffective, or you know, just generally not doing this YouTube thing properly. And I know everyone; it's a social network. People are going to do whatever the hell they want to do. But I think we need to put some form of etiquette down on how to be a YouTuber, and you know, how to just not piss people off, because there's been a few things happen today and this week. Which have just pissed me off that other YouTubers are doing, and it's it's got to stop. I want to put a line in the sand here and say everything I'm going to talk about in this video it stops after today. Granted, I know not the entire user base of YouTube will watch this, but still, you know I can always hope. So first thing, stop fucking spamming me, man. Mind? Oh, it drives me mad. Today alone, I have had six comments that have been deleted and reported as spam on my channel going, Hey bro, great video, I love what you're doing. By the way, why don't you check out my channel? I dropped you a like, maybe you could drop me a sub. I'm assuming they're American. They might be English, I don't know. But either way, yeah, people just commenting on your videos, having not watched them, saying they dropped a like or they dropped a sub, and yet your sub count hasn't gone up, duh, um, and asking you to go to their channel. And it's just like, no, fuck off, why, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I mean, seriously, does that ever work? Honestly, somebody somebody tell me, does this work? Have they ever done this and actually had people come to their channel? Because to me, it just it is the most disrespectful, annoying thing someone can do. Because what they're doing is hopping onto your video to try and get the owner of the channel or the channel, the people who are viewing that person's videos to go elsewhere. I say, no, 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 I want people to come to my channel and stick around and watch a few videos. I don't want someone to come onto this Crucible chat and go, hey, by the way, I see this guy's commented down here saying that he has a channel, maybe I'll check him out instead. No, I don't want that. And you shouldn't be doing that. You should not be promoting your own channel in other people's inboxes or on other people's comment sections. That That's just not cool. I mean... The only time it's acceptable is if I happen to say, "Hey, by the way, I'm looking for new things to watch. Why don't we suggest some channels in the description, uh, in the comments?" And if that happens, great. You know, yeah, leave some channel links. Tell me to go to your channel then. But don't just put it unsolicited there. And then the, it goes one further because a couple of these ones that I've had um, have also had this insipid little thing, which says, "I do a shout out Sunday video." You might be interested in getting a shout out on my channel. All you have to do is come over, subscribe, and be an active subscriber. Some of them have actually said that you have to be an active subscriber to get a shout out. Now, I'm sorry, I don't want to be a shout out via lottery. You know, if you enjoy my videos, like I said last week, I gave shout outs to quite a few people last week. And if you look in the description at the bottom of, at the bottom of this page, sorry, I can't speak tonight. If you look at the description at the bottom of the page, there is a long list of YouTubers who I think you should watch. But. I am not going to suggest for a minute that if I were to bring back Shout Out Sunday that you come back and you'd be an active subscriber because you know what, I tried that shit and it didn't work and it backfired massively on me. I learned that the hard way because all it does is it breeds inactive subscribers, it breeds, yeah, you boost your sub count temporarily while people think they're going to get a uh, shout out and you'll get loads of comments on your Shout Out Sunday video, loads of views, but then when those people don't get a shout out the next week, they unsubscribe and they fuck off. I've seen it happen. I've done it. I've been there. Don't do it. It does not fucking work. And I see so many more people doing it now. I mean, it's almost as bad as the whole sub for sub thing, which is still going on, but fortunately not as much. 
And that is the other thing, don't do sub for sub, don't ask me in the comments, hey, check out my channel, if you sub to me, I'll sub back to you. Fuck off with that shite, man. Don't even bother. Because, you know, if you have to ask for people to subscribe to you, if you have to beg people in other people's videos to subscribe to you, you're not doing it right. Yeah, I put a call I put a call to arms. I think that's what YouTube calls it. Put a call to arms at the end of each video saying, if you enjoyed it, please do subscribe. Look at that death. That was shit. Um, yeah, I, I'll say, hey, if you like this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. That's fine. That's just reminding people that they can do that at the end of the video. You know, if they have enjoyed it, you go, either way, you know, hey, why don't you click that little red button? Just that, 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 that little red button just down there. And if they do that, it's wonderful and fantastic. But don't go on begging for it. Don't go, hey, sub me, sub me, sub me, sub me, sub me, sub me, everywhere on YouTube. That is just really fucking annoying. And because at the end of the day, subscribe account doesn't really matter that much. It's a great, it's a good indicator of how well you're doing because it's a good way to show how your channel's growing. Because you've got so many people who want to come back time and time again to see your videos. But it's the views that count. It's the views that count in YouTube's ranking system and it's the views that count uh, when they're going down towards the monetary concerns. It's the views you want, not the subscribers. Uh, feedback is the is the last one I wanted to talk about. Now I've been on Reddit and I've asked, I've been involved in some feedback threads where you post your video, and you know you basically just ask, open yourself up, asking for people for honest feedback. You know, is that what what can I do? What can I improve? Now the this became a slight issue when. The feedback I received, I posted um, yesterday's Demon's, not yesterday, Thursday's Demon's Souls video on this thread and says, yeah, I'd like some feedback. Because, to be fair, I was largely happy with that video, it went quite well, it's the one where I smashed um, the Tower Knight in 20 minutes, I was perfectly happy with that episode, but you know, we, every day is a school day, we all want to improve and learn. And the comments I got back were, oh man, a 20 minute episode, that's a lot for someone to watch. Or... Hey, you could cut out so much of this video. It's like, okay, what the what the hell, guys? Seriously, really? Uh, oh, and and the big enchilada. My God, you're boring. I was just like, what? Seriously? Now, the feedback that I got when I extrapolated out and actually kind of replied back and forth to them and found out what those guys actually liked. They wanted the kind of videos that those people enjoyed were super cut. Um, almost montage style videos where basically anything in between action was cut out. So if it was the Demon Souls episode it would have been the first fight with uh, the Hoplites uh, and then it would have been the next fight when I got to the first part of the bridge, then when I got the second part of the bridge and then the boss. Basically I could have taken a 20 minute video down to 5 minutes to make those people happy. And they wanted me to be more animated. Basically they wanted me to be fucking PewDiePie. And I'm all for feedback. I like getting feedback when it's good. Well, to be fair, I actually like getting feedback when it's bad, if it's something that can, I can change. But what these people were, tell, were trying to suggest to me was to change the identity of my channel, change exactly what makes me, me. Um, and they're saying, like, oh, you're so understated, and yeah, you got a good speaking voice, but you're boring to listen to. It's like, what? The mind boggles at the logic that these guys are employing. Because... It's one. It is one thing giving feedback. You know, they could say, "Oh, your your mix was wrong," or maybe you could have just chopped out that loading screen here and there. You know, you could have like, kind of contracted slightly. But to suggest that because they enjoy super cut, short, snappy videos, that I should change my channel to be that, that to me is wrong. Because at the end of the day, I've been doing this for two years, and I largely haven't changed my style. I've gotten better at it, I've gotten better at what I do, but my style is my style. I do long form let's plays, and I don't like to fuck around. You know, get in, record the video, I'll cut out if I die, running back to where I died, that kind of thing, but I don't like to fuck around, and I hate ultra super heavy cut videos, because I don't see the point in them. They... When I watch a Let's Play, I want to see someone working through a level. I want to hear their thought process. I want to hear what they're doing. And I'm making the kind of videos I want to watch. So, really, kind of, the, the bit of the etiquette that I want to get to here is if you're leaving feedback, make it fucking relevant. You know, if someone asks for feedback and they're like me and they do 20 minute to 40 minute long Let's Plays, don't tell them to cut it down to 10 minutes and be more like PewDiePie. I mean, seriously. How is that going to help anybody? All it's going to do is breed bad feeling, because it's bred some bad feeling with me. 
And I know haters are going to hate and people are going to say what they're going to say, but at the end of the day, leave me constructive feedback. If I would have been perfectly happy if he says, hey, you, your voice is good, your mix is fine, but it's not my kind of thing, too long for me. Great, fine, thank you for that. That's great, perfect. Not, oh no, you should cut it down, you could cut so much out of this, make it, make it so much faster and snappier. No, fuck off, I do long let's plays. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, that rant's been brewing on me all day, actually, I didn't expect it to get that ranty. Um, so, yeah, some ideas to be, to avoid being bad YouTubers. You know, don't spam, don't do sub for sub. When, it, when you're leaving feedback, at least leave it fucking constructively. Anyway. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Have you had these kind of experiences? Are you going to leave me some bad feedback? I know Bipolar Bear probably will, just to take the piss. But anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching, and good night.